<sighs> Welcome back, everybody. Oh, it's way too early. But today, today, we're talking about this. The Movo VXR 10. But it's going to be like a two, two thing video. We're going to be doing a test with the mic and we're going to go on a road trip. So, first thing we need is energy. Secondly, we need to get dressed. So, Let's get dressed. All right, that's a lot better. Clean clothes, hair's put up, hat's on, I can see. Still sipping energy though. So, we're gonna be packing the bag for our road trip. So, first off, we've got my favorite lens. The 17 to 50 F2.8 Sigma. Gotta have this. Then, we've gotta have our polarizer and our ND filter, because, you know, daylight gonna sprinkle some batteries that way we never run out of power we've got the GoPro and it's ND filter and then we have our trusty switch pod it's good I love this thing it's probably gonna get replaced soon because I found a better one which upsets me because you know you're always replacing gear but it's still good I'll do a video on it here coming up soon so bags packed let's get in the truck So this place was absolute fire. Wasn't allowed to film inside, but check them out. Amazing food, absolutely. All right, so as I said earlier, we're gonna be talking about this microphone, the Mavo VXR10. It's a cardioid, so it's gonna give a wide range to record. So I'm trying it outside. We've got a live band down there. We're on the strip. Tell me how it sounds. Tell me if you can even hear me. We're gonna go somewhere else to test more. All right, so like this is gonna be the ultimate test of this microphone. Right now we're inside the Caesar's Palace. We're at the Fountains of the Gods. And uh, it's loud in here. So if you can hear me clearly in here, this is the best microphone on the planet. Because I wouldn't even trust my Rode Video Mic Pro Plus in here. But check out the fountains. Not trying to show you Zeus's butt, but it works. Well, we're in the final testing location. We're at a parking garage, more specifically the Mandalay Bays. And uh, I picked this spot because you got echoes, you got cars, and it's going to be more of a typical use for this mic, vlog setup, going to the airport or whatever. But we're going to go back to the studio. We're going to talk technical specs compared to other mics and give my final thoughts. So let's jump back to the studio. All right, so. We are back in the studio. We're about six feet from the mic right now. This is where my camera is normally set up. I do use this microphone on the camera already when I'm filming my normal content with my studio mic, but this gives me a scratch audio that's slightly better than what comes out of the camera. So why don't we move the camera a little closer so you can hear what it's like from vlog inside of a, like a house building somewhere with kind of decent audio. So three, two, 
one. All right, so we're about arm's distance. So this would be the standard vlog distance, I guess you would say. So this is what it sounds like inside of a house at vlog distance, which is just about arm's reach. Um, does it sound good? Does it sound bad? So we're gonna switch over to my normal vlog mic, which is the Rode Video Mic Pro. Because, you know, they can't make the names any longer. So three, two, one. All right, so now we are vlogging on the Rode VideoMic Pro. Does it sound better? Does it sound worse? It's all up to you, because you're gonna hear this before I do, so let me know what you think. So this is the Rode, not the Rode, this is the Mavo VXR10. So I've used this mic for about a year now, and I've loved every bit of it, except for one thing. Focus. The cord gets loose real easy on this. And I don't know if it's just this one, the cord, or the fact that, you know, I use this a lot. And I abuse it. The other thing is the Ryko mount that came with it, I destroyed it. So I'm using a different Ryko mount. But the Ryko mount that comes with it is still a good mount. It's just I may have broken it because... I'm a hard on gear. So why don't we switch over to the normal studio setup and hear what it sounds like on the studio mic. All right, so we are back in the studio. We are at my Fiffin K670 microphone, the professional studio microphone. This is what it sounds like inside the studio on this. We've heard how the other microphones sound. So tell me what you think. Does this sound better? Does it sound the same? Does it sound worse? So this is the Mavo VXR10. It is a cardioid mic, which means it's got a wide, a real wide pickup pattern. The mic is at the front of the tube. And overall, I think it's good value for your money. The only complaint I have is this cord. I just hit myself in the face with it. Is this cord. It just, it doesn't stay in very well. It, it unseats just enough to create an audio problem. So I've remedied that with a rubber band. Wrap it around the plug, up to the Ryko mount, and voila, done. But you shouldn't have to do that. Bad Movo, bad. No, I'm kidding. But otherwise, this is a great mic. I like it. It stays on my camera 90% of the time when I'm in the studio. It's doing the job that this mic is doing right now. We're not going to tell you what this mic is because that's the next mic for review. But I've just started using it, so I don't even know how this sounds right now. To me, the sound quality is pretty decent, especially for $40. It's $40. Just, you can't beat that. And I don't have a Rode Video my a road video micro i think that's what they're called because i bought this instead because i like the reviews on it better now as i said it's forty dollars what you get for that forty dollars is the mic the cord you get two cords i believe one for a camera and one for a phone you get a fuzzy ball or a dead cat whatever you want to call it it is a pretty good dead cat, though. It's pretty thick. It does very well at keeping the wind out of it. And you get a Ryko mount. I would show you the Ryko mount, but I destroyed it. Because I'm hard on things. It's, at least that's that's what I'm told, is I'm hard on gear. I needed a shot. I didn't have a place to mount the Ryko mount, so I super glued it. And then it, it didn't come back off. But we won't talk about that. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. You decide. But... You have seen the test footage. I did pretty extremes. I did real echoey area, parking garage. The loudest place on earth, the Caesars Palace Fountains. Oh, oh. I did shoot the fountains at Bellagio, but they play uh, copyrighted music. So I will not be showing you that audio. I'll show you that video at the end end with different music over top that you know youtube's cool with so i don't get copyrighted and then i showed you a normal vlog area sidewalk some people around but not a lot and a band behind me so you get a pretty good test of this microphone do i think you should buy it if it's your first microphone go for it you cannot 
beat it. Cannot. The price, the stuff you get, you just can't beat it. That is it for me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you did, subscribe. Smash that like button. Oh, also, we'll be moving the upload dates to either Thursday or Friday because I shoot Mondays. I shoot Sundays and Mondays and trying to get it up on Tuesday. It's just, especially like a video like this, there's a lot of editing. So it, it it's a pain in the butt to like get it done that quickly. So, especially because I work. But thank you for watching. Comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. I know you're acting stupid